What is up guys, your boy Ren here today with another fantastic deck. Today, today is going to be a deck that, well, was proposed and also literally made by one of my viewers, one of my friends, but I felt like, you know, we have to, we have to run it on YouTube, which is a Noctowl deck. So thank you so much, Glaze, for this amazing deck. And uh, you will see, you know, Glaze was there during the stream uh, as we, you will see the gameplay of the deck. And he helped me actually understand it a little bit more. So what you want to do is, of course, you want to carry off. So carry off says that you you're choosing one of your opponent's benched Pokemon, and you put that opponent, uh, put that opponent, put that, that would be cool, uh, put that card with everything that was attached to it back into their deck. So th this is the whole deck that wants to put all the Pokemons back to their deck, and at the very end, at the very end, you want to put their active Pokemon back to their hand, and that's how you win. But how are you going to do it on active? Well, it's a great question because we do have a Pidgeot that, with a Spin Storm, actually puts that back, uh, that active back to their to their hand with all cards attached, and that's how you win. That's our win con in this deck. Of course, it's a deck that is going to waste um, copious, and I mean copious amounts of time of your opponent. So another win con is actually your opponent conceding online before you're gonna get to your actual win con because you're gonna be so pissed off, so annoyed. It's similar to idea to Behaim deck, so you'll see a lot of similarities as we're gonna play and me a lot of me talking a lot about it because this is literally similar idea to Behaim in terms of you're bringing the uh, Noctowl back to your deck, right? Because you're shuffling it back to your deck with everything. You're using PGs uh, to bring it back and you do it every single turn. That's what you want to do, right? Of course, you have to burn it through your deck, and we have many, many tools to do it. So let's take a look at this whole deck. So first things, so we do play one Ditto and line of three, three Hutu and Noctowls. Then we have a fantastic line of four, four, two with four PGs, four Pidgeotos. Which again, this is what you want to focus on, right? You don't want to. Pidgeot, this is the card that you want to play when you need to finish your opponent. This has to be like the last card you play. And of course, you know, two Pidgeotos, right? But sometimes you go like, hey, Raven, but listen, they have like a fantastic active Pokemon. And I can't, you know, use an Octowl on it. Well, that's why we do have a Fioni. Fioni goes back to the deck. And this is the way you switch your opponent's active and use an Octowl on now benched Pokemon. That's what you want to do. And it's a really, really cool strategy and idea. Then we go to 36 trainer cards and we have four Angra Bikes to browse through that deck a little bit faster. Burn through that deck. Evolution Incense, the same thing, to get this uh, turn one set up super fast during those first turns. Four Lily's Pokedoll to actually, because again, when Noctowl goes back to the deck, you have to promote something. And why not promote Lily's Pokedoll to stall a bit if you need that? Of course, you have a ton of Ordinary Rods to bring back. So you don't have to worry about sacking, about sacrificing Pokemons. They can start knocking out stuff, it's all good, because you can bring it back later, because you are playing single prize attacker. Then we have nice playset of Pokegear 3.0 with four Pokemon communications. One power plant for Mewtwo matchup, two Guzman Halas to get you U-turn board, to give you, of course, the power plant, and TCE, which is uh, the most important card in the deck, with three Pokemon fan clubs to get the basics, like, for example, Fioni, Four Elms Lecture to get early turns, uh, early turn Pidgeotos, and of course Titan Liza for Switch and get, getting a fresh five hand with one U turn board that you want to play and one of your Pokemon that will be promoted as an active to retreat it. And then four tri the TCE, so four triple acceleration energies. So this is, you know, the whole idea seems really simple. Like you just go and, well, shovel your opponent's Pokemon back to their deck. And it kind of is, but as you will see in the video, playing that deck is not really as easy as it seems. There's a lot of strategy that goes into it. There's a lot of like thinking that goes into it. So you will see that in the video and I'll explain that in the detail as the video goes on. Uh, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, there, you've got a 5% discount down there below on Professor Oaks if you want to purchase online codes and also TCG Player if you want to support the channel and Patreon as well. It's down there below. So yeah, it's also always going to be... Uh, we also have, you know, nice message at the end of the video. So now let's just move on to the games because I know you waited for those games. Like how you can waste so much time uh, of your opponents alive and let's just move into into those games <laughs> the 
All right, we've won a coin flip. There we go. This is gonna be a perfect game. I pulled a regular Snorlax like, V. Uh, offered a, me a gold tack call. So yeah, I have. To, ooh, yeah, like someone's offering you a gold tack call. Well, I wouldn't call it, you know, like a yeah, to a certain degree. But like we tried Chinchino Mill, which is quite cool. Uh, we actually had, you know, a really nice. You can't say something like a success with it. No, like really, really good against with Chinchino Mill. Yeah, that's right. Like, those are the perks of day one trading, definitely, or like week one trading. All right, let's take a look at Torkoal. So, Combustion Pillar. Discard the top card of your deck. This card is okay. All right. I'm not sure how to beat it yet. Um, if you're thinking about, you know, Chinchino Mill. Tons of switches <laughs> as like only thing I, I can say because it is scary like it is really scary Okay, that's gonna be energy from hand Raven is the OG Pokemon Master. No, like, um... We've hit Master Rank right now twice in a row, actually. Like, not even joking. Okay. Alright. So that's a benched guy. It's an active guy. Uh, let's see. But you know what? I'm with this deck I'm missing uh Zip Striker. Like Zip Striker was you know the engine that helped a lot to to, 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 to get to the point where you wanted the deck to buy. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, this this is one of those things that was helping just, you know, browse through, like, not even browse, but, you know, just thin out a deck a lot. I can't beat a guy uh, in Ultra Moon with a pro Hector Shaman. Oof. Hey, thank you so much, Mister. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, all right, come on. I feel like you know we can just go for Pidgeot right now. I guess when Hala gets everything. Well, you know, right, right now, this Torque Coil, right? Is like the main problem.
All right, okay, let's go for that, uh, Guzman Hala, let's see. Hey, Yoshi, thank you so much, I appreciate that. I mean, I like to send the your weekend chum block, sure. So you see, I, f I feel like you know, what I thought I would do, so just going for that Pidgeot would be a lot better. I mean, I know there's a Fiona that we can use. But I feel like that was that, that would be a lot better move. What is turn uh, in Ultra? No idea. Until there's one thing left, okay. Oh, that's a steam crush. I mean, this is the moment where I just have to start risking it, because he is charging my cargo, there's not a lot of room for me to do anything, whatsoever. Right, we got an Octowl. Right, so you know, that was a risk well taken. Uh, but yeah, he's gonna just bring uh, my cargo. But again, like, at least he's knocking out a Poké Doll, so that is not that bad. Alright, Airmail. Tate and Liza. Let's carry on and put him in back to the deck. All right. So next turn again, I have to just go for Fiona. I found Fiona some way, but I feel like you no, know, this deck needs quick balls, or there are quick balls, and I'm just not drawing into them. Like I have that feeling you now. So maybe. Because with this around you can just, you know, put exactly what he needs on the top and just go with it.
Yeah, I was never a fan of Pokemon Fan Club. Alright, Catcher's Pidgeotto. Sure. Okay, knock towel. All right. Yeah, Glacier is playing. This is his uh, of a deck. So switch. Energy, Lily Spooky Doll, Fiony. All right. And now carry on. Alright, so I'm slowly getting there. So we're slowly, slowly getting there. Is uh, what card is underused? Oh, that is a great question. Um, oh man, from the new set, underused. Oh, I don't know yet. Like, this is a really good question. I have no idea for now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I literally have no idea. I haven't played in formats uh, for that long to actually, you know, think about it. <laughs> Like, I don't say I haven't thought about it. I haven't thought about it uh, that much. If you feel a card is, like, uh, underused or underappreciated, maybe you should uh, make a deck of it. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is possible. But I... You see, the, the, the whole thing is that... I... I don't find, at least right now, any under. I mean, okay, um, Wobbuffet V. I feel like Wobbuffet V, but this is gonna be hard to pull off. Uh, Paul T. Geist is gonna be there, but we tried. So, we're in this realm of slowly, slowly trying that deck. And figuring it out, uh, what's gonna happen, how you, you, know, you perform. Well, I only have one Wobble Fat V, so I can't. I don't think I can actually pull it off. But I have literally zero to no idea what I would want from that deck. Like, in all this honesty, you know, I. Don't know what I would want from that specific deck. Like, at all. Because it switches the, uh, the damage with uh, your active, uh, if it opens active. So. Yeah, theory crafting. Yeah, like, we, we, we might do theory crafting. So, like, theory crafting for, for that deck would be, you know, what? Because you can only switch once, because next turn you're going to switch, like, the damage that you gave is going to come back to you, so... Yeah, 
Yeah, it, it just changes the damage, exactly. I mean, you can say, like, like Mewtwo, but at the same time, you know... It swaps. It's not really changed, it swaps, so... That's, 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 uh, that's a bummer for me, because the next turn... The damage that you've put on your opponent's mod is gonna come back and then hit you. Right? I mean, healing Wobble Fed V? Huh. But did Mewtwo set swap? That's a good question. But the wording, does it use swap or... Exactly. Because the wording is, uh, is crucial. So it says move or swap. Because when you're swapping, you can move it one turn, right? So let's say I'm, I'm going to move to opponent's active 160. But the next turn, right? When it says swap, this 160 is going to come back to me. Right? Because I'm just swapping back and forth. So the swap, you know, can only go one, one way. So that's why I asked. <laughs> um, yeah, we can, we can work that out, sure. Wait, when you uh, get a second, you check uh, what my username is. Sure. Sure, sure. Okay, just in case, Fiony. Right, shuffle him back. I mean, also there's no threat on his side, knocked owl. That just moved your damage. Yeah, exactly. Right, it, he's not moving. Right, he's just swapping, and that is, you know, that, that that's my problem with it a little bit that I have. Because you're gonna have to have a like really nice amount of damage on him. Okay, fan club. Aramail. Aramail, um... I'm just gonna go for Ordinary Rod. Oh, it has the same wording, okay. So if it does have the same wording... Okay, I, I thought you know, it didn't have. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I didn't have. I didn't find it. He had the same wording, but if he does, then all right. That's not actually that bad. All right. So carry off. I'm gonna carry off a wrong guru this time. I can only imagine how annoying I am right now to him. I can only imagine that. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a long game. Alright, so I gotta carry on. Energy. Discard. All or nothing, I would guess. Yeah.
Okay, incense, so we want to... Alright, so let's get the baby. There's, it's insane here how those decks... Right now are working. Like, Yeah, I brought enough of Noct Owl so I can discard one. Sure. Airmail. And the toe. <sighs> Not that annoying, I would guess. Yeah. Alright, so. Torcoil V. Back to the deck. I mean, I can imagine someone IRL rage quitting over that deck. I can honestly imagine that happening. So, smooth over. I would guess, uh, <laughs> 10 minutes ago, perhaps, yeah, like, the guy is, like, still doing it. I can imagine uh, him throwing his keyboard out of the window. <laughs> Welcome back, Thunder, hello. I can imagine that as well. Marnie, okay. That's good, good news for me, not gonna lie. Yeah, he's just rebuilding, right? He's just rebuilding all of his... Uh, all of the side of his board. Pull your router. <laughs> okay, that's the second energy that he has. Third. He has that knockout. Oh, and we're back again with oh, that. That see, like I think like, my time is gonna you know, be up. Or he's gonna lose all the energy, like one of two. Fioni. I mean, I can play Ordinary Rod. For two hoot hoots. Uh, just apologize to your opponent after that match. I mean, I, 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 I'm gonna have to. I mean, I will apologize, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, I if you have a good deck or something. No, joke, of course, no, no, no. You should not do that, but... Okay, let me take a look. So he used already three welders. I'm not... Yeah, I think he's not gonna have another welder. <laughs> I mean, he can have. Actually, yeah, he can have, because he has this McCargo. And thank you so much, Samurai Flex, for subscribing to our amazing YouTube channel. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. I mean, again, all he needs is just one knockout, right? Okay, Marnie. I mean, you can only imagine what is happening there on the other side of that game. Mm -hmm. 
All right, our mail. Can imagine uh, his mental skill. <laughs> Right, so I don't know if he has a welder or not. I mean, he might play the fourth one. I'm out of head shaped uh, dance. <laughs> All right, so th I'm, I'm risking a bit, uh, but I'm just curious if he has it or not. I got bored, so I'm back. Welcome back, Yoshi. I mean, it might be that the welder is his last prize card. It might actually be that. <laughs> He's like discarding the ditto. He's like, okay, I don't need that ditto anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Alright, there's a welder. He has it. Right, now question is if he has the energy, but he will have it from hand, that's a GG for him. Good. <laughs> GG, my goodness. I'm never playing that deck again. I mean, out of respect to my opponents, I'm not playing that deck ever again. Ever. Like, really, out of respect to my opponents. Wow, this deck is evil. Like, holy moly, dude. This is, like, the evilest thing I've seen. Like, this is a deck solely made to make someone rage quit or waste their time. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, right, Noctowl, right, you just waste your opponent time, that is crazy. So I want to say thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that. If you want to participate, don't forget to be on Twitch. It's Twitch Raven Cold Snatch Crew. That's where we are at. The schedule is also down there. And, of course, you know, you've got all those discounts, Patreons, everything, you name it. It's down there below. When we got a second channel, which is called just Raven Cold Snatch Crew. So I want to say thank you so much again for being here, for being amazing for supporting the channel for watching these videos and goodbye good night have a fantastic rest of the day thank you so much for watching and let's annoy some people with the knocked owl deck bye